all inherited by Kate, the late Queen Elizabeth, on her deathbed rejected Meghan Markle's audacious request to own Windsor a royal showdown in the last moments of Queen Elizabeth's reign. The death of Queen Elizabeth Roman II marked the end of an era for the British monarchy. Her reign, spanning seven decades, was filled with dignity, duty, and a relentless sense of service. But as her time came to a close, one last royal drama unfolded, one that would shock even the most loyal followers of the royal family. As Queen Elizabeth lay on her deathbed, reflecting on a lifetime of service, an audacious request from Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, made headlines around the world. Markle allegedly asked for ownership of Windsor Castle, a request so bold it sent shockwaves through royal circles. But as expected, Queen Elizabeth stood firm, rejecting the proposal instantly. The Windsor estate, after all, isn't just a residence. It's a piece of living history tightly bound to the British crown. The Queen's final decision was a legacy kept intact. Imagine for a moment the magnitude of such a request. Windsor Castle, the seat of British power for centuries, not only symbolizes the continuity of the monarchy, but also represents the heart of the royal family's history. The castle has weathered wars, fires, and political upheaval, standing strong as a testament to the resilience of the British monarchy. And now, in her final moments, Queen Elizabeth made sure to protect this sacred symbol from what she saw as an outlandish demand. But why would Meghan, a relatively new member of the royal fold, ask for such a thing? What could have driven her to believe that she had any claim to such a prestigious piece of royal real estate? Meghan's audacity, where did this come from? It's no secret that Meghan Markle has had a tumultuous relationship with the royal family. From stepping back from royal duties to airing grievances in explosive interviews, Meghan's journey from actress to duchess has been anything but smooth. Some might argue that her request for Windsor Castle was a final attempt to assert her place in royal history, a bold move to claim a stake in the legacy of a family that, according to her, never fully accepted her, but the monarchy operates on rules and traditions that stretch back centuries. Royal properties like Windsor Castle belong to the crown, not individual family members. Meghan's status as Prince Harry's wife, no matter how celebrated or controversial, didn't entitle her to such a grand inheritance. Queen Elizabeth understood this well and wasn't about to break protocol in her final hours. Windsor Castle is a fortress of history and tradition. Let's take a moment to appreciate Windsor Castle's significance. Built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror, it is the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. It has been the home of 39 monarchs, and its walls are steeped in centuries of history. It's more than just a building, it's a living monument to the continuity of the British monarchy. Every stone of Windsor Castle tells a story from medieval sieges to the personal lives of kings and queens. It's where royal weddings have been celebrated, where state banquets have taken place, and where the crown jewels are safeguarded. It's also where the queen spent her final days in peaceful reflection, for Meghan to believe that she could step in and take ownership of such a place seems in many ways inconceivable. So when Queen Elizabeth denied Meghan's request, it wasn't just about a property, it was about safeguarding a tradition. It was about ensuring that Windsor remained what it had always been a crown jewel of the British monarchy, untouched by modern demands and political dramas. As Meghan's request was denied, one other woman stood in the spotlight, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge and future Queen Consort. In contrast to Meghan, Kate's journey into the royal family has been marked by grace, patience, and an understanding of royal duties. Her relationship with Queen Elizabeth was one of respect and loyalty, a fact that did not go unnoticed by the late monarch. After Meghan's request was denied, people wondered about Kate's future in the royal family. Could Windsor Castle go to her? As Prince William's wife, Kate has already taken on many duties. Windsor Castle might become part of her royal legacy. 
Kate Middleton has become a key figure in the monarchy's future. Her dedication to duty, family, and tradition makes her stand out, showing a stark contrast between her and Meghan and highlighting the monarchy's emphasis on tradition. The public's reaction to this royal drama was mixed. Some saw Meghan's request as a disregard for tradition, believing Queen Elizabeth's rejection was necessary to maintain the crown's dignity. Others felt for Meghan, seeing her request as a fight for recognition, and believing the rejection was unfair given the cold treatment she felt since marrying Prince Harry. But everyone agreed on one thing. Queen Elizabeth's decision was a key moment in royal history. It showed her commitment to the crown, protecting its legacy for future generations. Meghan Markle will never own Windsor Castle not because of personal rejection, but because of how the monarchy works. Royal properties are managed by the crown estate, ensuring they remain part of the royal heritage. Meghan's request overlooked Windsor Castle's true value. It's a symbol of British sovereignty and the monarchy's power. Owning it requires being at the heart of the institution. Queen Elizabeth's decision was about preserving tradition. The monarchy values its history, understanding its strength comes from honoring it. This decision teaches us that the crown is more important than personal desires. The queen's decision underscores the crown's importance. It's not about personal wishes, but about ensuring the monarchy remains respected and stable in a changing world. As the royal drama fades, the monarchy's future looks bright. Queen Elizabeth's decision ensured Windsor Castle's role as a symbol of royal continuity. Meghan Markle will find her own path outside the monarchy, while Kate Middleton prepares to become queen consort. Queen Elizabeth's decision was more than just a rejection. It was a statement of the monarchy's commitment to tradition. With Kate and William set to lead, the monarchy will continue to uphold tradition for generations to come. What do you think about Meghan Markle's request for Windsor Castle? Do you agree with Queen Elizabeth's decision, or do you think the monarchy should change with the times? Share your thoughts below and join the conversation. With Queen Elizabeth's decision, Windsor Castle's future is now a topic of interest. Meghan's request may have been denied, but Windsor's importance in the royal scene remains. As Prince William and Kate Middleton's roles grow, Windsor's significance as a residence and symbol of the monarchy will increase. The castle is not just a home for the royal family. It's also open to the public for special events. Queen Elizabeth made Windsor accessible to the public, keeping it relevant. Prince William and Kate might follow this tradition, mixing public access with their private lives. Windsor Castle is a key part of the royal family's story. It stands for strength, resilience, and continuity. The castle's story will continue to grow under the watch of the next royals. Even though Meghan didn't get Windsor Castle, she and Harry have moved on. They left their royal roles in 2020 and now live in the U.S., making a new legacy through charity and media. Meghan's request for Windsor was symbolic. She wanted to maintain a royal connection. But Meghan and Harry are doing well on their own, building a unique legacy outside the monarchy. Meghan's story raises a big question, can you be part of an old institution and still have your own path? Meghan and Harry say yes. Kate Middleton has become a key figure in the royal family. She's known for her grace and commitment, much like Queen Elizabeth. Kate's journey from commoner to duchess has shown patience and respect for tradition. Kate will likely be more tied to Windsor Castle. The Queen's decision to deny Meghan's request emphasizes Kate's importance. Kate and William will lead the monarchy, honoring the past while facing today's challenges. Kate's rise in the royal family shows the power of patience and duty. Unlike Meghan, Kate has taken a slow, steady path. Both women are shaping the royal family's future in their own ways. The monarchy's traditions are at the heart of its drama. These customs may seem old-fashioned in today's fast-changing world, yet they give the monarchy its strength. The royal family offers stability in a world that's always changing. Its traditions make it unique. Queen Elizabeth's decision to protect Windsor Castle was crucial. 
It was about keeping the monarchy's essence alive. Can the monarchy keep its traditions and thrive, or will it need to change more to survive? William and Kate will have to answer these questions. The royal family has shown it can evolve while keeping traditions. Queen Elizabeth's reign saw modern changes like televised coronations and public palace openings. But finding the right balance between tradition and modernity is always a challenge. Meghan Markle's entry into the royal family was significant. As an American actress and a woman of mixed race, she brought a new perspective to the royal family. Her marriage to Prince Harry signaled a potential shift in the monarchy, bringing in diversity and modern views. But the royal family still clings to tradition. Meghan and Harry introduced new ideas, but the family's history remains strong. The monarchy needs to find a balance between the old and the new to survive in today's world. As the monarchy changes, what should it focus on? Should it keep its traditional ways or embrace big changes? Do you think Meghan's request for Windsor Castle was wrong or was it a sign of the times? Share your thoughts and join the discussion on the British monarchy's future. In her last moments, Queen Elizabeth made a strong statement by denying Meghan Markle's request for Windsor Castle. It was more than just about a building. It was about keeping a legacy alive. With Prince William and Kate Middleton leading, the monarchy's future is both bright and complex. The mix of old and new will guide the royal family's journey. Meghan Markle wanted to shake things up, but Queen Elizabeth's choice showed the value of tradition. Windsor Castle will remain a symbol of the monarchy's power, and Queen Elizabeth's legacy will inspire many. So where do you stand? Should the monarchy adapt to today's values or stay true to its roots? The British Crown's future is a topic we're all still discussing, and your opinion matters. Do you think the monarchy can thrive today? How will Meghan Markle's actions influence royal life? Share your thoughts, opinions, and predictions in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going and see what the future holds for the British monarchy.